So volume just under five million today. That's kind of crazy, huh? At least it's not downward volume. That's a that's a good thing, right? Um, anyway, I was taking a look at this, and look how this is setting up. It's just like this over here. You know, they haven't been able to get it under that 150 hardly at all, a little bit. You know, back here at 146. But it looks like it's setting up the same the same way. If I zoom this up now, I mean, look, this is actually the day chart. And it's worse if you go to, you know, look how many times that they were down there. And they just can't get it down. So if you go to, let's say we even go to the hour, you know, look at that. So that's a good sign. So in my opinion, I think this is headed north. And it's, you know, it's probably going to be really slow unless you get some kind of major catalyst or something or earnings coming up in like 26 days, 25 days, something like that. But, I mean, it is definitely, you know, if you're thinking about getting in, now is the time, that's for sure. I know I'm starting. So let's go back to the day thing. And who knows how long it's going to take, but I think we'll be pushing back up into this $2, 250 range in, in no time. Could be a couple weeks. Could be a week. Who knows? All depends on this market maker. You know, one thing, you know, I dog the market makers all the time, and they are shady as hell. But uh, one thing about the market makers, they don't give a shit who's shorting it, you know, who's holding it, who's shorting it. They, they don't care. They're all about doing what they need to do and make money. And so it's, you know, they're just, they're trying to suck everybody in. You know, they're going to try to suck retail into buying high and, trying to suck shorts in to trying to short it down and they're just playing the game so that they can make the cash, eh? So, and you got to kind of go with the flow. But shorts are getting sucked into this really deep. I, 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 you know, we've been saying that for a year, but I mean, what is it, 64 million? That's a lot for this, in my opinion. I mean, that that's a lot. They're really... They're really walking on thin ice. Yeah, I, I can't. This is just crazy. You know, a buck and a half, you had four decent quarters of earnings. I, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand Short's thesis on this, you know. Just doesn't seem very smart to me. If they're wise, they just get the hell out and... Walk away. Find some other shit company to short, you know. I, I don't know how this could even be worth it at, th at this point. I mean, Fubo's not going away. You know, 500 and some employees. Pretty, pretty decent earnings. I mean, moving towards profitability, you know. I just, I don't see how they think they're going to You know, eventually you're going to have to cover, you know. So, if you cover at a buck 20 or you cover at a buck 50, for them, what's the difference, you know? I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But anyway, on the move north here, which is going to be slow, I'm sure. We're going to have that. We'll be back to, there's that 177. So that's going to be 177. That's going to be a uh, little bit of a chore to get above that maybe. 
And then, of course, then, of course, you're going to have the $2 mark. You know, right around $2. You're going to have to get over that. But then, after the $2, I think you're probably good all the way up to... Maybe 225. Is it going to be another one? Something like that. And then you'll have, and then we'll have what, two, 250? Yeah. I'd say like two fifty. We'll just see how this plays out over the next couple of weeks. I'll probably <laughs> probably have to extend those lines out again. But then you got this two seventy seven. Two seventy seven, two eighty, up and up to the three sixty five, three sixty six. This whole thing right here, I mean, this is going to be, this whole stretch right in here, is, we're going to be back to that cover zone. So... <laughs> I'm kind of playing. Cover, cover. So anyway, yeah. So that's like the cover zone in there. I would think shorts would cover if it, we get back in there after being way down here. But we'll see how this plays out. That's just my, I'll leave it there until this does something stupid. And uh, I, better, I better save that or I'll be drawing it again. Oh, I saved it already. Huh. I'll be damned. But yeah, that's my... You know, I don't know what this will look like. I'll probably have to extend these lines out. We'll be into May and June or something. But I don't know. Maybe by earnings, this will pop up. We'll see how that plays out. But this week could be interesting, too. You know, one thing, another thing I saw was... Uh, Really slowly, it's like the calls are fading away for the options. And that's a good time for market makers to jump it way up. So we'll have to wait and see, but I think I'm not, I'd have to look, but it's either like this week or next week. Yeah, I think like, not this week, but next week, the 19th. It could go either way. I think there's calls and a bunch of puts for the for a buck and a half. I think there's a bunch of puts for a buck and a half. So you know, it's it's hard to you know. I wouldn't think that within the next few weeks, I wouldn't think the market maker would yank it down into that underneath the buck and a half just because of the. The puts, you know, they'll stay right in the middle between the buck and a half and two. Whatever the max pain is, that's pretty much... And, and there's a website for that. You can look it up. You know, that's that's where they like to keep it. So, unless somebody... 
You know, it's got to be a big institution that is going to buy it up or short it down past where the market maker wants to keep it, you know? So we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. But I think this, the volume is what's most interesting. Under $5 million and And how oh, the market... Well, this this is going to be another thing, you know? You can watch for... Watch for Benzinga to come out with some kind of negative article and like the economic calendar with this whole interest rate cuts that's supposed to be coming and inflation shit. You know, they'll use some kind of some kind of um, economic calendar thing to throw out something negative, you know. And Benzinga is always a good one for that. They always have, you know, it'll be a little bit of positive at the beginning and then the rest is negative. Or it's all negative and they throw in this little positive point at the end. It's just, it's just screwy. I don't believe a word anybody says. You just watch the chart. That's all. It is what it is, you know. And a good example of that is, is look at, look at the quarter's that we had, and look where we're sitting. Who would guess that? You know, four good quarters, but you're down at a buck and a half. It, it just doesn't make sense. So, all right, I'll do another video later on this week, and we'll see where this goes, see how my little thing plays out. So, but I imagine that this will go north really slow, and they'll wait and see what happens to the earnings, and then they'll try to pound it down but it's going to be really really slow so that's enough for Fubo but one thing I wanted to mention was uh, a little bit about this this hardcore thing so I made this tune on um, the World of Warcraft classic the hardcore so basically if you if you die you're done you got to start over Usually, you just resurrect and go back to playing and, you know, but the hardcore thing, you know, once you die, your tune's done. So, and now I'm at, like, what the hell am I at? 46, I think. And, oh, my gosh, what a slow grind, you know. Uh, it's, just, it's just been crazy. Now, I, I got I to gotta check now because I don't remember what level of my hunter is. But, uh... Forty-six. So... I was in a damn group and I should have known better, but I was in a group and, uh... Because it kind of coaxed me into it. And I shouldn't trust any... I, I mean, if you're in a guild where your friends, your personal friends are people, hey, you know, I, not a big deal. But, uh, you know, that you could probably do that. But you get into these other groups, and I'll tell you, we had a tank, and he's like four levels above, above where we were, and he just starts pulling all kinds of stuff. Before you know it, the tank's dead. You've got a, a warrior running for his life. And then the healer, and what the hell was it? Uh, mage or something? They're running for the instance entrance. And there I am as a hunter sitting there. L luckily, uh, my feign death didn't get resisted. So I was able to feign death and... I left the group. I only had to kill one thing, which I was able to do with the cat and whatever. So I killed that, and then I was able to heart to hope. But never again. Never again. I'm just going to do the slow grind and get her to 60. And But it is slow. I mean, they went right back to the original classic. There's hardly any quests to get you there, and... It's amazing because you go 
from retail version, and they're just quests galore now nowadays. You know, they even added quests to the low level stuff so that it's easier to level. But you just you run out of quests. I'm having to kill stuff and kill stuff and kill stuff, and it just you know you need like. 200,000 experience points and everything you kill is like 240, 250. So you got to kill a lot of things to get 200 and some thousand experience points. And so it's been, it, it's been a long haul. I'm actually going to, I'll probably play a little bit yet tonight, but I just thought I'd share that for some World of Warcraft players, but, um, and then we got, uh, you know, the War Within is already out for, you can purchase it. And now, and they're already doing the, you know, we were, we were already playing the um, beta for the other classic. So they're going in uh, Cataclysm. So it won't be long. So that's going to be leveling all of those characters again. So, oh my gosh. It's getting a lot of leveling. But anyway, I'll make another video later this week. We'll see where this goes. You guys have a, have a good week.